so in this video we are going to look at SADs so basically SADs are just numbers uh, that cannot be expressed exactly as a decimal fraction because they give never-ending or non-repeating decimal fractions for example if you are given to find the, the square root of 2 the square root of 2 is basically a SAD and you're going to get 1.414 uh, you have a 2, 1 and the decimal places just keep on going and going and going so we have quite a number of sets so basically when you when you try to look at um, prime numbers you look at you when you wh when you focus your attention on prime numbers you realize that prime numbers are basically sets when you introduce the the square root okay so even though we can't express these um, exact uh, we cannot express these uh, numbers exactly as a decimal fraction there are rules that can help us to we can manipulate them using some some rules uh, in simple terms okay so the first rule that we have is is in a situation where you're given something like let's say you're given this to find the square root of a multiplied by b okay so let's say this can be a single number then you break it down to that so it's more like this is just a times b which is the same thing over there okay so you're just saying the square root of a multiplied by the square root of the square root of b is still the same thing okay so um we are going to look at examples that will help us to understand these laws okay so the second the second rule um is a situation where you are given a fraction let's say you have a here over b this is basically uh, okay so this is basically you're just talking about the square root of a divided by the square root of b okay so the third rule uh, is talking about where you have uh, let's say you have square root of a multiplied by a so basically this is more like you're talking about a similar situation as in the first rule so meaning this is the square root of a multiplied by the square root of b and at the end what you're going to get is that so it's more like you are trying to simplify what you have right there and someone may ask to say how is this how is this a coming about so this can be written as this or before i go to a this can be written as we say the square root of a squared so this goes and that goes remain with the, the a right there okay so um let's say you're given um let's say you're given 28 let's say you're given 28 so this is more like the first room that we have we are playing the first room We are playing this first room. Okay. So what we are basically going to do is that we are going to look for dividends of eight. Those numbers within eight such that if you multiply them, let's say two numbers, if you multiply them, they are going to give you twenty-eight. So you can start with two. Then, if if we were to divide two into twenty-eight, it's more like you're getting what you're going to get is for basically fourteen. So meaning fourteen by two is going to give us twenty-eight. But are we going to find? Is it possible to find the square root of um, of fourteen? This is also going to give us um, na this is also going to give us a lot of decimal places, which is what we are trying to avoid. Okay, so you can try several numbers just to try to reach at that conclusion where um, at least you have simplified to a certain level. Okay, so if you try three, we say three into twenty-eight because we say three into twenty-four, you are going to get something like. Um, it's 8 of which it can't work out we say 3 t uh, 20 uh, 3 into 28 what you're going to get is 9 point meaning 3 is out of the picture okay so we try 4 we try 4 in this case how many times can 4 go into our 28 so 4 into 28 can basically go uh, 7 times so meaning you say 4 the number the two numbers that you're looking for is 4 and 7 meaning we say f 4 times 7 you're going to get 28 so and again we look at this if we do this this can give us something that we can use which is a 2 okay so that is what we are going to use right there on that first example All right so this will be you're going to say 
um, okay we're going to say 4 multiplied by 7 this can also be written as 4 square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 7 so this you're going to get a 2 multiplied by the square root of 7 so basically your answer is 2 to the square root of 7 then that's your answer you have simplified and you didn't have to punch your calculator all you had to do is that you had just had to find the dividends of 28 that you have there because if you if we are just to go direct your calculator and do the square root of 28 you're going to get a lot of decimal places which is something that we are trying to avoid when you're talking about SADS okay so the second question that we're going to look at is this Okay, let's say you are given uh, a fraction of which the numerator is a this is sad, then the denominator is just that. So we are going to do what we have done to 28 to this square root of 72. It's more it's just here is just about applying logic. Just try to think smart. Yeah. Try to find numbers within 72. Whereas when you multiply them, you're going to get 72 and you find that one of the numbers that you're going to have is basically going to give you uh, something that you're going to use. Okay, so you can start with 2. I would advise you to start with 2. Can you say, can 2 go into 72? Of course it can. So when you say 72 divided by 72 divided by 2, we are going to get something like 36. Yeah, you're going to get 36. So meaning 36 times 2 is going to give you uh, uh, 72. So if we introduce the square root, is this a sad the answer is yes is this a sad no this one is going to give us a six so basically what you're going to use here is uh, we're going to have uh, we're going to say 72 is more like saying 36 multiplied by a 2 divided by the 2 that we still have so basically this is just the square root of 36 multiplying by the square root of 2 divided by the 2 that we have so this is going to give us 6 multiplied by the square root of 2 divided by the 2. So we have 2 here, 1, the 2 there, you are going to have a 3. So meaning your answer is um, okay. So meaning our answer is is 3 multiplied by the square root of 2. That's our answer right there. Okay. So our third example okay Okay, let me just write the answer down there. Okay, this we say 3. That is our answer. Then I use the other part for the last question. Okay, so let's say you're given, let's say you're given 2 multiplied by the square root of 7. You close, you have 3 multiplied by the square root of 7 again. So you're just basically going to multiply this one by that one and so what you're going to say is that uh, it's not like you're saying this one multiply by that one okay then this multiply by that okay so you follow those uh, colors so meaning this by this you're going to get a 6 this by this you're going to get 7 squared of which this and that are going to cancel meaning we are saying uh, 6 multiplied by 7 which will give us um, 42 okay so that's our final answer right there okay so the other part that we need to look at is um, the part where we are asked to rationalize uh, the, the denominator of a fraction of which the, that denominator is a sad so let's say you are given um, there are there are two ways in which you can be given a question you are being asked to rationalize the denominator let's say you're given uh, a situation such as you have one over um, you have one over the square root of the square root of a how do you do such as you can as you can observe you have a one there this is a fraction and the denominator is a third so what you do in such a case is that you're going to multiply by the 
denominator multiply the whole fraction by the denominator so meaning this will be that divide by that so in simple terms when you're talking about rationalization you're just trying to get rid of the root sign uh in the, the on, on your denominator so this and this are going to give us one times the square root of a you're going to get square root of a divided by this and this the square root of a multiply the square root of a you're going to get square root of a squared the square root goes and the root goes meaning i remain with the square root of a divided by one which is just basically the square root of a so as you, are, as you have observed it's more like from the definition talking about rationalization just trying to get rid of the root sign um in the denominator okay so let's say we have another instant we are given something a bit different compared to this let's say you are given um one over um one over the square root of a plus uh the square root of b okay so as you have seen like on the first example we just had the square root of a but in this case we have the square root of a plus the square root of b so of which a and b are sads so what do we do we're just going to multiply this whole fraction by the conjugate of the denominator and what we mean by the conjugate of the denominator is just we're just going to change the sign of this side that we have right there right here okay so we know to say here there's a positive and here there's a positive so when you w when you if the conjugate of this is just the square root of a minus the square root of b don't introduce a negative here yeah that would be wrong okay so this would be the square root of a minus the square root of b divide by the square root of a minus the square root of b so the work might the work might seem like it's too much but keep in mind to say all we are trying to do is to get rid of the root sign uh, the d uh on our denominator there okay so one times that one you're going you're just going to get um a minus eh? the square root of b you divide so the square root of a multiply by the square root of a to give us a because we know this is more like uh, you are saying square root of a that so whenever you see such a situation happening just write whatever you have inside there so this is plus okay let me put my a there say plus so now here what we have is positive this multiplied by that we're going to get square root of b multiplied by the square root of a all right so now this and this gave us that then this and that and that gave us this then the square root of b multiplied by the square root of a you're going to get um, okay so we have this the square root of a multiply the square root of a gave us that one the square root of a multiply the square root of b are going to get a negative so we're, we're supposed to put a negative right there okay okay meaning this is uh, you're going to have a minus uh, the square root of a multiplied by the the square root of b so now the square root of b multiply that by that you're going to get plus uh, the square root of b multiply the multiply by the square root of a here minus this by this you're going to get a b the square uh negative we are going to get the square root is going to go so basically this right here is just a zero because it's more like you're saying negative one plus one giving you a zero okay so what you're going to remain with is the square root of a on minus the square root of b there the numerator divided by a minus b that's what we have right there so let's look at some questions okay let's say you are given um you are given three you are given three over the square root of five okay plus the square root of two then you are being asked to rationalize this so remember always all you're trying to do is just to get rid of the root sign in the denominator so just multiply by the conjugate meaning this is uh, 5 minus the square root of 2 
divide by square root of 5 minus uh, the square root of 2. Remember you're just changing, changing the sign of uh, the figure on your right. Okay, so this by this you're going to have uh, 3 there. You open the bracket. I'll say 5 minus the square root of 2. You, you close. Over. Okay, so 5 multiplied by that. Remember to say when you do this, it's more like you are getting square root of 5 eh, squared, of which the square root is going to go and this is going to go. So meaning, all we are going to put here is a 5. Okay, then 5, remember to say it's more like there are the brackets here. Then 5 multiplied by the square root of 2, the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 2, you are going to get minus the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. Then the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 is going to get plus the square root of 5 times the square root of 2. Okay. Then square root of 2 multiplied by negative the square root of 2 you are going to get minus 2. Same situation as the 5 that we had here. 5 by that one. So meaning this one by that one should get a 2 right there. So this one will give us a 0. So meaning we are saying 3 multiplied by the square root of 5 minus the square root of 2 over 5 here minus 2 you are going to get a 3 so this will be okay this will be this will go and that will go a bit so our answer is going to be the square root of 5 minus uh, the square root of 2 so that's how we go about solving um, that question so you look at the second question let's say you are given um, Let's say you are given 1 plus the square root of 2 divided by 1 minus the square root of 2. So it's still the same situation. Just multiply by the conjugate of the numerator. I mean the denominator. Okay. So multiply that one to be plus the square root of 2 divided by 1 plus the square root of 2. So it's more like this. You're just trying to expand numerator by numerator denominator by denominator okay so one by one is going to give us a one one by th by that we are going to get uh, the square root of two then the square root of two multiplied by one we are going to get um, plus the square root of two then the square root of num two multiplied by the square root of two you are going to get a two divide by the square root of one multiplied by one is one plus the square root of one by the square root of two is going to you're going to get that. Then negative square root of two by one you're going to get minus square root of two. Square root of negative square root of two multiplied by th that you're going to get minus a two. Okay, so this you're just going to add this one plus that two. They are going to have a three plus this and this are going to give us two square root of 2 divided by so this eh, is going to give us a 0 meaning you are saying 1 minus 2 giving us negative 1 of which our final answer can be negative 3 minus 2 square root of 2 as eh, our final answer yeah so that's how you go about solving uh, such questions on SADS yeah thank you